all right guys good evening and welcome to my channel mm -hmm. today i want to to start a series of exercises on the a number of challenges that i just discovered on this website project eula.net they seem to have very very interesting programming challenges for you to be able to master uh computer programming so I would like us to try to, to do these challenges with the MATLAB software. We'll go from one right, right to where we can stop, right? We'll do as many as possible. I'm sure this will be very interesting. So uh, the very first one, and by the way, I'm doing this live. All right, let me just click and open it. So the website is projecteuler.net. All right, so I've opened the first challenge in a new tab. Let's look at what it says. So I've just read this first challenge, but I've not yet tried it. Okay, I wanted to try it live on on a video. So uh, it says if we list all the natural numbers below ten that are multiples of three, uh, five, we get three, five, six, and nine. Right? All of them are divisible by three and five. So it says the sum of these multiples is twenty three. So that's already uh, a benchmark they've given us now. The question is find the sum of all the multiples of three or five below below one thousand. Now this is very very interesting. All right. So what I will do is that uh, let's open MATLAB. I'm having MATLAB 2018 installed in my computer, and uh, we'll create a new a new function for that. All right. And let's give the function name uh, multiples uh multiples we'll say three five all right 35 and uh, inside for the inputs of the function let me let me change my my keyboard language all right so for the input of the function mm, let's just put a number there we'll call it n right so the n there stands for the number below which we want all the, the sum of all the multiples so if n is 10 right as uh, as the stipulate in the example if n is 10 for example it means we want to get all the multiples below 10 right that um all the multiples of 3 and 5 or 5 rather below 10 right that uh what am i even trying to say the sum the sum of all the multiples of 3 or 5 below 10 that's what we want to get all right so n is this largest number so the exercise actually says that n should be equals to 1000 all right but i want to program it in a way that no matter the value we can get the sum of all the multiples of three or five all right so how are we going to do this in MATLAB? <laughs> oh this is interesting okay so z is equal to multiples of 35 n so obviously uh we'll have to get what we are dealing here with natural numbers all right and we want all the numbers that are less than n so what i'll do very simply is just to create a vector okay that contains all of these numbers between uh, all of the natural numbers between um what's that mm. all of the natural numbers from one to n minus one right all of the natural numbers that are less than n okay so i'll just say one is to n minus one that should create that vector okay so we have that and then we want now the sum of all of these things i think i think this is pretty easy okay so what i will say i will just say z is equal to the sum of what we want to do now is to index within this v the values that we are interested in okay the values that respect the conditions of multiples and uh, if a number is a multiple of three it means that uh, the remainder of the division of that number by three is equal to zero if a number is a multiple of five the remainder of the division of that number by five is equal to zero and uh, there is a good matlab function for that right which is rem i'm sure matlab <laughs> those those challenges may be very very easy in matlab because matlab is uh, a mathematical it's a mathematical tool so it has a lot of built-in functions but the way we will be doing the exercises is neglecting some of these functions and seeing how we can do even without them to master the, the programming language all right so i'm saying what i want is v what I want, do i want to index i want to index the remainders of v okay the remainders of v uh comma three right 
that are equal to that are equal to zero okay or so the or where is the or or the same thing okay that are equal to to five so that would be my z let me see if this works all right if you don't have a technical error there have i saved this okay multiples three five so we'll try to apply it for 10 first and let's see whether it gives us 23 right so we'll go to our command window okay so i'll just say multiples multiples three five and uh, let's say 10 what does it give us come on let's say 10 and see what it gives us 23 perfect right so it implies that the answer for uh, the answer for 1000 should be 233168 so unfortunately i've not seen where to to check the answer here uh, i don't know whether i can see the solutions mm. where do i see the solutions okay let me just try to search that okay so solution solution for problem one problem one project Euler. it seems to be a very popular thing i'm surprised that i'm learning about it just now it's a good uh solution to that, 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 that. okay c sharp but uh, i want the answer i want the answer i don't necessarily want to see the the coding i want to see the answer okay let me just take here from uh, stack exchange and see whether we can find the answer from there mm, what does it give what does it give suggestions no i don't want suggestions anybody give the answer anybody gives the answer you know i want to confirm for 10 it may work right but uh, for 1000 there may be some things that some things that we've not seen all right so the answer is not given there just the code is given mm. Mm. my dear coding rules oh let me see this one come on come on come on the time is becoming long Two, three, three, one, six, eight. Right? This should be the answer. So I think that's exactly what we got. Right? Two, three, three, one, six, eight. So that function is perfect. All right. So challenge one succeeded. All right, guys. See you in the next video for challenge two. <laughs>